Hello everybody, this is Matt from Cell Phone Fix, starting a video on an iPhone 6 Plus that came in, uh, was told that the phone would not connect to network searching signal obviously, and he told me that somebody told him that he needed a SIM card replacement, SIM tray, card tray replacement. Um, that's usually I've never even done one of those so I don't think that that's didn't think that that's what it was um, so when I got the phone in my hands it was actually dead I plugged it in and it turned on and it was stuck at a uh, uh, iTunes disabled screen and I called him and he said that uh, that's weird because he was just using it the other day uh, or the day before he brought it to us and that was the first time we anybody here had even touched it was when I plugged it in so um, I told him that he either needs to plug it into a computer that he has connected to iTunes before or it's gonna have to be restored he said restore it and uh, all this stuff was backed up already already so I said alright plugged it in iTunes started the restore and it aired out at error negative one um, which doing some research shows that it is a baseband um, problem so uh, at this point we're stuck on the iTunes logo and um, I mean I could show you the restore try to restore it real quick but uh, we're gonna get the error negative one and I'll show you why Uh, it is a water damaged phone, which is what's caused all this in the first place. Um, I've already taken off all the shields. Alright. So I got a new microphone. My first video was very bad audio quality, and I do apologize for that. Um, actually got a type the type of mic that Jason uses or whatever at STS got on his link and seen what he was using and found one at Office Depot so thank you Jason um, okay so let's change views here all right so basically got a little water damage going on here um, up top it's not too bad uh, a little bit of discoloration here and here and obviously on the screw hole um, so everything's decently working except for obviously we have a baseband issue um, so on this side of the board pretty minor water damage um, So just looking around definitely water damage there flipping it over to the baseband I see and right here we have um, let me try to clean this up for you all right so around this area we definitely have corrosion um, I ran did some uh, continuity tests on these caps and uh, no ringing to ground so that's good next thing I was gonna do would be to take some diode readings from a known good and I'm pretty sure I have a 6 plus here that's an S plus that's a six. All right, here. Let's see, has this one been mutilated? No, looks all right. All right, so let's look at this guy. Uh, it has been mutilated. Um, 
just that one cap that's kind of off here. Right, where'd you go? Uh, let's check something. Somebody's texting me. Man, why can't I not get you in focus? There. So, on the known good, hopefully known good. That guy's off, but it's still on, so if that makes any sense. Alright, so let's put it in diode mode. Just check a couple readings around the actual baseband here. Let's start with this guy. So I'm getting 266 on that cap, 0.266 and 0.331. Let's go over here. Come down there, that's what I'm trying to show you. So I'm getting 0.844 and 0.986. So yeah, I mean we definitely have got some bad readings there. Let's It's got to be a partial short or just corrosion is just causing this. So what I'm going to do is throw it in the ultrasonic cleaner and then we're going to come back and take some more readings and try to go from there. I wish this had a pause button, but I will go ahead and stop the recording and come back when I get the ultrasonic cleaning done. Okay, so I've got the... Uh, ultrasonic cleaner uh, the board ran through the cleaner and it definitely looks clean I say that every time let's uh, take some diode readings and see if we're back to normal or not okay so this is our bad board and this is our donor board which this is hilarious. It's got a shifted cap. Alright, so diode mode, red on ground, black on the non ground side of the cap. Alright, so we are going to start with this guy again, and we've got 268.268, and then we got point three three four so let's go back to our other board so this is the board we need to fix alright so we've got Point eight six and one point two, so that's still hold on. I'm I'm a dum dum. I had them reversed. So we are back to point two six one, and the other one is point three four. And just to test one more time on the good board point two six seven point three three
0.263, 0 0.34. So those are definitely better. Well, let's, uh, I mean, I hate to say it, but I want to try the uh, iTunes Restore real fast and see if we're still getting aired out um, now that it's been cleaned. So hang tight. Um, well, let's see here. Charge port. And screen. Maybe. iTunes let's go to desktop view So, restore, restore and update. Ah, crap, we got to download it. Alright, so, I'm going to pause the video again so you guys don't have to sit here and watch the download happen. And we'll start it back up when we know what we've got. Okay, so got the phone cleaned and there's the ultrasonic cleaner and I was able to get the uh, iTunes restore to actually work this time without erroring at negative one for the baseband issue. Obviously that was the issue. Um, I looked at the video from the first section of this and seeing that I actually had my probes crossed and got uh, that 0.800 reading and that's usually what happens when you're doing videos you mess up and don't normally do things or you do things you normally won't do so anyways we knew it was a baseband issue we knew there was corrosion around the baseband uh, i see so the cleaning actually fixed it that's all this one needs not all of them are dramatic repairs so i'm not complaining um if i go in i've got a dummy uh sim card in there now if i go in and go to general and about i'm actually getting readings it's a verizon sim card and uh shows me an imei and all that jazz so i'm pretty sure we're good to go it doesn't say searching it just says no service um so since this one wasn't too bad of a video i mean what i can try to teach you is to show you here so that's little guy over there is the ultrasonic cleaner I use. Uh, put it on 60 degrees, and after five minutes of running, I've got a little tub here uh, that just has isopropyl alcohol in it. And when I'm done with the cleaning, I'll put it in the isopropyl alcohol bath and use a toothbrush and just scrub the board. And then after that, um, basically blow it off, let it. You can heat it up with a hot air gun just a little bit and make sure all the moisture is out of it, but that's kind of what the isopropyl alcohol does. And uh, turn it on and everything's good. Here's fun. Um, so I do use the Branson IC cleaner uh, that everybody else uses, and uh, that's 1,500 milliliters of distilled water in that ultrasonic bath and which 30% is 45 milliliters and that's how much Branson IC you put in that. So one of those big bottles of Branson IC cleaner will last you forever because you can clean 
multiple boards in one sitting until that water gets very very dirty um, so another thing I can show you um, real quick you know when you take a board out of a phone you can kind of even look underneath and see um, kind of where the water corrosion on the housing is to kind of pinpoint where we were so or where the corrosion was uh, this is a six plus so there's our ear speaker and if we just go up we can start to see uh, a little bit of spot there so and actually right on that side is where our baseband is so obviously that's a good spot to start um, but I'm not going to keep you much longer that was it pretty much just a cleaning um, it happens from time to time and you don't really complain about those you just kind of say yes thank you easy repair so uh, if you have any questions just leave a comment and I will do my best to respond uh, like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time